Suzuki Auto Cebu, and the other car brands that are currently selling hybrid models are facing a dilemma today. Well, actually, it has been going on for like a couple of months already, and uh, the problem is, well, hybrid itself. For a car dealership, this site over here is very, very concerning. Take note, this is just one floor of the parking building that we have here. This is the seventh floor. As you can see there, it is filled with Suzuki Ertiga hybrids. Yeah, 360 view, all hybrid Suzuki Ertigas. And the sixth floor is also filled with Suzuki Ertigas. Also on the eighth floor, also on the fourth floor. We basically have an overstock. And uh, now this is actually a problem. Problem in a good way, problem in a bad way. Why is it a good problem? Well, we have a lot in stock. Okay? We have a lot of you know, these vehicles available. And if you are looking for uh, a family vehicle like a Suzuki Ortega 7-seater that is fuel efficient, high quality, and has great value for money, we have a lot in stock. So if you're planning to buy one, we can get you one right away. The bad problem is, is that people, consumers, are scared of this new tech, especially here in the Philippines. And I think I know why, and there are five reasons, and uh, I'm gonna try to address them as best as I can to help you make an informed choice in buying another car. Not just Suzuki, but a hybrid vehicle. Okay, problem number one has to do with the price. Okay, yeah, there's no doubt the Suzuki Ortega hybrid is a bit expensive for most people, but the reason why is because of the hybrid system itself, okay? Now, the price of the vehicle that we're you're getting, you know, from a hybrid is the savings in fuel consumption. And uh, there was an article published like a few weeks ago by autodeal.com and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And it discussed the average fuel consumption of the Suzuki Ortega Hybrid, okay? Not just one, but five, okay? Five Suzuki Ortega Hybrids, you know, different configurations, manual transmission, uh, manual high-end, high uh, automatic basic model, and also the GLX variant, which is the top of the line variant. It discussed the fuel consumption and the range was somewhere between 18 kilometers per liter to 24 kilometers per liter. And from five vehicles, so five different drivers in mixed driving situations, long distance, city driving, so on and so forth, okay? So the fuel consumption ratio of the Suzuki Ortega Hybrid is more than enough to compensate for the price of the unit itself. So if you're gonna look at that, way you know it's a fair deal all right so with regards to pricing the suzuki ortega starts at 950 something depending on the dealership that you're buying it from because the prices here in the philippines vary from where you are situated uh, if you are somewhere in luzon it's well cheaper over there i don't know how their deals go but here in cebu the price starts at 1 million for the ga variant and so on and so forth. If you go down south to Mindanao, prices over there are a lot higher because of log logistics and other concerns also. So yeah, go check your dealer, ask them for pricing, and uh, ask for a good deal. Every dealer has a promo or some sort, right? Ask them about that. All right, second concern that we have from consumers is that um, maintenance, okay? Maintenance is gonna be a big problem. Now, I work here at Suzuki and I am familiar with all of our products, okay? And uh, I am familiar also with regards to servicing, general servicing. And uh, there is absolutely no reason to be scared about the maintenance cost of the Suzuki Ortega Hybrid or a hybrid vehicle itself. Now take note, the Suzuki Ortega is a mild hybrid system, which we will get into later, right? Maintenance is basically the same, just like an ordinary car, you know? Uh, four-cylinder gasoline engine all you have to do is change the oil have everything checked regularly and so on and so forth I'm just walking around over here to show you the different colors the different variants I don't know I'm not gonna you know uh, talk about the different variants and the features because I have already talked about that in a previous video so you know go check those out 
and also about the features of the Ortiga hybrid and uh, the general features of the Ortiga itself. Third thing that people are scared of the hybrid system is, well, the hybrid system itself. Now take note, I mentioned earlier that the Ortiga is a mild hybrid system. Now how does that work? You know, how do you classify a mild hybrid system? Okay, now the Ortiga is still powered by the K15B four-cylinder gasoline engine that has been in the bonnet ever since this body style came out you know back in 2018 and it has proven to be fuel efficient and very reliable and performs really great and uh, cities um, you know long trips and uh, so on and so forth you, you get the idea now the only thing that is different about the Ortiga hybrid and the standard Ortiga which is by the way no longer available is the hybrid system there is an assist motor that assists, well, take note the word assist, assists the motor in power, acceleration, and of course, improving fuel efficiency. So what it does is that, you know, under heavy acceleration, especially from zero kilometers per hour to uh, going up, the engine gets assistance in the form of power provided by the electric motor, okay? Therefore, improving fuel efficiency and of course improving power especially in the low end okay low end or you know low rev ranges okay now it cuts off once it reaches a certain rpm level like around 3000 4000 rpm it cuts off so it's all motor once you reach cruising speeds it's all motor right then and there and once you decelerate the electric motor gains you know it charges the battery that supplies the power to the electric motor when you accelerate the electric motor gives assistance and once you decelerate the motor uh, charges the battery which in turn you know it's an endless cycle of charging and recharging the, the biggest concern is what if the hybrid system you know goes kaput it comes out it's like destroys itself now there are two things that you should take note of about the hybrid system okay number one Again, it is an assist, you know, it is an assistant. Let's say you are the boss and you have an assistant and uh, you, you as the boss, you are the number one reason why your company works, okay? The, you're, you're the number one reason why the company makes money. It's not your assistant, okay? The assistant is there to deal with, you know, other concerns like, uh, you know, admin concerns, bills and all those nonsense that, you know, you need to, to, to complete and yeah. If your assistant dies, God forbid, your company is still afloat because you are there, you're still alive, okay? In this case, you are the engine. You are the K15B engine that is powering the Suzuki Ortiga. Your assistant is not the one running the business, right? So in short, if the hybrid system dies, you can still drive your Ortiga or your hybrid vehicle like a normal vehicle. Okay, so the, yeah, the, the hybrid system is, well, it has a lithium ion battery, which is a very robust unit that carries a lot of electricity and provides, you know, you know, a lot of benefits to the vehicle itself. Okay, so there are basically two batteries in the Suzuki Ortiga or in any hybrid system. So you have your standard battery, lead acid battery, and you have your lithium ion battery, which is for the hybrid system. Now, what if, the hybrid system dies okay or the worst part is the battery of the hybrid system is dead and you have to replace it now there is no need to worry about that for the first five years because there is a five-year warranty on the battery itself or should i say the hybrid system itself right and uh how much does it cost well as of today the cost of a hybrid or the lithium ion battery for the suzuki ortiga is roughly around 150,000 pesos now i know that is a lot, okay? People are scared of that money. You can already buy yourself a, another car or a fancy motorcycle with that amount of money. But again, there's no need to worry because the lithium ion technology is in development, okay? It has been around for a really long time and there are ways of, you know, people are making ways to make the battery system uh, cost less in terms of production and in return, making it lesser for you, right? So there's no need to worry. 
if something happens within the five years, okay, Suzuki will replace the battery right away, free of charge. Now the fifth problem that Suzuki Ertiga Hybrid, or basically the hybrid system itself, you know, faces here in the Philippines is ignorance. I'm sorry to say this, but you know, that is the number one reason why we're having problems, you know, in getting rid of this, okay? Uh, I've already talked about fuel consumption, maintenance, and uh, you know, so on and so forth, you know, just, you know, go back you know, to the start of this video if you weren't listening. The main problem is people's perception. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I know the fact that, you know, the Philippines is not capable for a full-on electric uh, vehicle because we don't have the infrastructure and the facility to accommodate that and battery technology for a hybrid or an all-electric vehicle is really expensive but then again you know we are living in a time where technology is moving at a rapid pace and uh, I strongly believe that you know in the next five years lithium-ion or battery technology will improve drastically because apparently this is the direction where the world is going on in fact you know diesel vehicles will be you know discontinued uh, soon okay you can really see this in you know, european countries or you know more developed countries you know they're getting rid of diesel system in fact for their heavy vehicles they're already using hybrids my only suggestion uh to you the consumer is you know educate yourself on this subject matter Okay, don't believe your neighbor. Don't believe, uh, you know, the old guy, you know, who thinks he knows everything, you know, about, you know, cars and motorcycles because they're stuck in a time. Uh, you know, technology is, again, moving rapidly. So there will be improvements, there will be changes, and uh, whether you like it or not, change is constant. So it's going to happen anyway. All right, so that's about this for this video. If you are looking for a brand new Suzuki, you know, Ortiga, Maybe like this, you know, Jimny, the unobtainable Jimny. Feel free to DM me. I have my social media links over here. You know, I'll do my best to give you a good deal. Fair price, no markups, no whatsoever. Financing, trade-in, I can do that for you. I can process everything for you. So, yeah, I do honest reviews about vehicles, cars, and basically mostly motorcycles. This is my job video, so, you know, help me out, all right? You know, if you are not yet, you know, buying a car or, you know, or motorcycle one way for you to support me is to like this video and subscribe to my channel that's about it anyway see you next time bye